Welcome, boys and girls, to the day two of the virtual culinary camp. This is the craft section for day two. I'm going to show you how you can create several things using measuring cups and measuring spoons. The first one I'd like to share with you is a caterpillar. I'm going to turn my video so you can see. Now, I took the measuring cup and I traced around the measuring cup to make a circle with a pencil. The big cup made the caterpillar's head. And then I took a half a cup and I traced around the half a cup to make circles all the way across the page. And at the very end of the caterpillar, I used a fourth a cup to make a small circle. Now you can color the caterpillar with crayons, with markers, or with colored pencils. Now, if you you might want to use do this, I have this idea. You can take the measuring cup and you can trace circles onto construction paper, then cut them out, and then you can create tape or glue these circles on your page and make a caterpillar. You want to be sure to use a bigger one uh, for the head and smaller ones for the body of the caterpillar. Now, I'd like to share with you some ideas on how to make um, some cards to share with other people. Take a half a piece of paper, you fold that piece of paper in half, and you can use this as your card to share with other people. Now, let me show you what you can do with it. Now, here is a caterpillar drawn onto this half sheet of paper. I use a measuring spoon this time. I use the tablespoon to make the head of the caterpillar. And then I use the teaspoon and I drew circles all the way across until the very end. And then I use the half a teaspoon to make the end of the caterpillar. Now, I colored the caterpillar and wrote some letters in it. And let me share with you what I did. All right, this is the caterpillar I drew. I wrote happy, I wrote some letters in it, happy is, and when you open up the card, it says, happy is knowing you are my friend. See you soon. This might be something you might want to create and send to some of your friends that you're missing this time of the year. Now, the third, let's see, where's the other one? Now, here's another idea. Let me tape it up here. I used the measuring spoons and I made lollipop trees. I used the spoon and I traced around it just like this, the stem and the um, spoon part, and I made them smaller and bigger and smaller, and I'm, these made little lollipop trees. Then I took a square and I put a triangle on top of it and I made a house over here. Now, this card looks like this once you color it. And I wrote some letters in there and I wrote, home is. And inside the house, I put a heart and love. So this is a, another card you can create to send to some of your friends or share with somebody in your family. Now, uh, I used the teaspoon and I drew circles to make my initials and that might be something fun that you can do. I just traced the little circles around. This is an S, this is an L, and this is a B. These are my initials. And then I went back and colored each one of them and made a very pretty um, um, art with my initials. Now, the last thing I'd like to share with you is I created a frame using the teaspoon. I took the teaspoon, just like I made the uh, lollipop trees, I took this teaspoon and I went all the way around the edges of the piece of paper, tracing circles all the way around, just like this. And then, I 
I wrote letters in those circles. I wrote Happy Father's Day. Um, happy at the top, Father's on the side, and then Day at the bottom. And I wrote these in these circles. And then I colored them, and you can do whatever you'd like to. You might want to draw a picture or uh, maybe find a picture of somebody. But this is what I created for my son. I colored the circles, and it still says Happy Father's Day. Now, this is my son, Aubrey, and this is his little boy, Bowen, and his little boy, Luke. And he's reading a story to them. So this is going to be for my son, Aubrey. Now, that's several suggestions or ideas for crafts with spoons, uh, measuring spoons and measuring cups. And I hope maybe you might enjoy some of those and have time to do it. And it's almost time for me to, to close this. So let me just uh, share with you a few good words. Do you know, faith is complete trust or confidence in someone or something. It's like we have faith in the measuring cups and the spoons to help us put the right amount of ingredients into our cooking. I hope today has been a joy for you. I hope that you share joy with others and maybe you'll share one of those um, card ideas with others that would make them smile. Now, sharing joy, that's goodwill. I hope you have a good day. Thanks.